What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. As we knew, you know, the days leading up to this, we did know that today was Ringside Fest for 2023. Yeah, we have Ringside Fest kicking off today, man. And I think we have more reveals even tomorrow. So stay tuned to the channel for today and tomorrow. We're going to have more reveals and news coming at you guys, of course. But nonetheless, man, I want to dive into it. It was a pretty solid day, I would say. You know, you guys can hold your judgment for the end, or maybe you, you were there for the live stream, or you were there for the premiere video and you can let me know your thoughts on the reveals down in the comment section below but let's dive into it man let's start off with the ultimate editions that we got shown off today man let's start things off with this one first and we're going to start things off with the ultimate edition series 21 cody rhodes figure now this one right here is very impressive for a lot of different reasons i know a lot of people are going to be very hyped for this figure i am very hyped for this figure man i mean this is is wrestlemania 39 gear i was there in person to witness this and i think it looks awesome i will say though it doesn't look like they're changing the formula that seems to be you know the same Cody Rhodes formula that they used on his last Ultimate Edition which was give and take you know I can understand people wanting it to change and I can also see them keeping it the same I really wish they would keep it consistent across elites and ultimates like because Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes use the same elite torso why wouldn't they use the same exact ultimate torso but I digress if you guys get what I'm saying there but this gear looks good I like this gear I think it was solid gear when he came out at Mania I mean this figure just looks immaculate man not only are we getting this cool gear and everything going on with Cody but we also are going to be getting the interchangeable arms jacket it looks like so it's not going to be cloth goods man they're going to do the AEW Supreme version and it's going to be ama amazing I think people that really regard the Supreme better is because of the jacket and now that we're going to have a cloth goods jacket and the molded jacket I mean this figure is going to be unbelievable definitely going to be one of the better figures of the year and I imagine this is probably going to hit probably January or February of 2024 maybe even a little bit later maybe even a little bit later it's definitely going to be 2024 though I would be shocked if this hit this year Year. It's definitely going to be into next year, but I like this Navy gear. I, I thought it was cool when it came out. I think he looks great, and the biggest thing about this figure, you may be thinking, oh, it's the cool interchangeable jacket mold. It's going to look like the Supreme Man. We are finally getting a new weight belt mold for this guy. Finally, a new weight belt mold, man. I know we've been clamoring for years for this. Everybody has been just clamoring and clamoring. Just pitchforks have been out, man. We finally have a new weight belt mold, and this is going to change the game. It's going to make the, everything much better, man. There's so many guys that could benefit from this especially you guessed it Hulk Hogan and Cody Rhodes so now our our weight belts are going to be accurate they're going to look great we're no longer going to have to be using the AEW Jazzwares ones to pair with our figures we're going to have updated weight belts and it's going to be immaculate for everybody involved but this Cody Rhodes figure looks great I'm really glad we have a mainline Cody I expected us to get a mainline Cody eventually and I think they picked a good one now we're just waiting on the Royal Rumble gear that's another one that I would like to see but the next figures that we're going to talk about is more Ultimate Editions man we have the Ringside Exclusive the Ultimate Edition two-pack tag team outsiders Kevin Nash and Scott Hall figures man these look pretty damn good man I think these look awesome I know a lot of people are going to be like oh what the hell my elite 16 Kevin Nash well at least this is an ultimate and I think that elite 16 Kevin Nash is always going to hold its own spot in history but I love this this is great we've been waiting on you know a Kevin Nash and a Scott Hall ultimate edition specifically you know we did get razor and stuff like that but this is great I like the two-pack and a ton of accessories in this pack much like the Usos that we got last year or this past year we are getting some really good stuff going on here i mean they're in their black and red you have their entrance vest you have their outsider shirts you have their plain nwo shirts they each come with three interchangeable heads they have interchangeable hands they have the wcw tag team championships so this is crazy this is crazy you have the smiling kevin nash head you have the yelling one you have the like wide-eyed like i call that like the kevin nash russian punisher head sculpt right with the wide eyes i think that's fantastic he's got his white elbow pad in there this is a great look figure and I like his diesel ultimate a lot so I think this one's going to be really awesome as well but so many different things going on here I think a lot of people are going to get some greatness out of this and then when you pair it with the Monday Night War set that's coming and you can interchange those heads and different things going on between those figures just a lot of fun coming with these and that's gonna these are going to fit right in with that and that whole entire theme it makes me sick that we didn't fund the Nitro stage though god in heaven Brad but the Scott Hall is also excellent we also have like that spooky head sculpt you know that's the first time in the line it's kind of like the ooh head sculpt you know he's got a stern face he's got the smile in there 
RIP to the legend. This is beautiful. Great looking figures. Uh, I'm excited for these for sure. I like everything we got going on with this two pack. I saw some people complaining in the comment section. I guess, you know, if you're not a flashback collector, I understand it, but these are awesome. These are great. I can't wait for these. I think these are going to be great. You know, last time we got a modern, you know, with the Usos two pack. Now we get some, you know, some flashbacks here. And this is great. I think these guys deserve the ultimates. I thought it was going to come in the main ultimate edition line, but now that we have it ringside exclusive, don't have any buts about it. The packaging is going to be sick. This is great. Good, excellent stuff here. And then we rounded out kind of our ultimate editions for the day with. The Ultimate Edition Real Scale Wrestling Ring with Eric Bischoff. This is the Nitro Ring, the WCW Nitro Ring Set Exclusive Ring that's going to come with Eric Bischoff. Great looking figure here as well, man. I think everything looks good, and it looks like this thing's not too far in the future going to be shipped. I mean, I could see this thing hitting before Christmas. I think this is going to hit here in the next month or two. So if you guys want to get this, it is up for pre order. Go use code MD Toys to save yourselves 10%. We got a shot of the packaging, much like the Attitude Era Ring. We also have the Eric Bischoff here on the front of the packaging, just like the cane. It's got the story unfolding there, and it's got all the different images. Very cool. Very cool stuff going on here. You get the interchangeable shirts, and one thing that's cool about this figure, too, is the leather jacket that comes with this guy. You can easily put that leather jacket on, like, 1,000 different people, right? You could. You, there's so many people you could make. You could put anybody literally in a leather jacket now that has an Ultimate Edition. You can interchange those arms, put that leather jacket on there, and it doesn't have any graphics on it. It should just be plain black leather jacket, and you can make that happen. So, this is great. Young Bischoff looking good. WCW Mike. He even comes with bare arms. I don't know why you would really want the bare arms, but it still works. I think this is great. Uh, I, I loved it when we saw that figure originally, and now we're finally getting to see it almost in final form, so that is that is immaculate. I like that, but that is pretty much what we got for Ultimate Editions. Now, you got to remember that tomorrow we're going to get more reveals, and hopefully we're going to get more Ultimate Editions shown off. I would like to see a couple more Ultimate Editions before Ringside Fest is over, but that is it for our Ultimate Editions. I think it's pretty good, solid Ultimate Edition selection right there that we saw today, but let's move it on forward to the Elite section, man, and we got a, a pretty decent amount of Elites right here. Man, we got a pretty decent amount of elite sides, if I say so myself. Starting out first, guys, we did look get a look at Elite Series 110, Elton Prince and Kit Wilson from Pretty Deadly. So Pretty Deadly finally getting figures here, and they also said that they're gonna come with their like cloth shirts or their hat, whatever the hat. This is like a quarter shirt, man. It's like above their titties. I mean, this this is one of those shirts, you know, that it's pretty synonymous there. But head sculpts look pretty good. I think the formulas look good. The gear is shiny and stuff. I think they're gonna kill that deco, make it look like that real material right there, that velvet material, whatever the hell you call that material there. I think that uh, both these guys look good. I think their head sculpts look good. You get their interchangeable head sculpts. These look pretty damn good. I know the render images, we don't have like full-fledged scale sculpted things just out yet, but you know, it's still good render images. I think these look pretty good, pretty deadly. I know a lot of people are going to be excited to get those. I know they're a little bit of ways away. You know, you're probably looking at probably springtime that these hit, maybe. Maybe even after that, I'm not entirely sure, but we still, we don't even have Elite 106 yet. This is Elite 110, so it's going to be a little bit there but eventually we will be getting these, but they do look good, so that's something to say. Another Elite 110 figure is going to be Butch or Pete Dunn. I still just call him Pete Dunn. I don't call him Butch. I think that's ridiculous. It's not like Gunther. I feel like Gunther and Walter kind of interchangeable. Butch and Pete Dunn, not for me, Brad. Pete Dunn right here. Beautiful gear. This is great gear. He's even going to come with his cricket bat, which looks great. I like the details going on with this. Uh, he's also going to be coming with uh, a cloth goods entrance shirt, which is great, or the, or the, the jersey that he's going to be wearing there, the collared jersey or whatever you want to call it there. Great looking gear. I mean, this is a fantastic gear. The white gear, always fire for me. I love that we have a long-haired head sculpt, so now this could still be Pete Dunn. You know, you could put that on your older Pete Dunn figures. It's going to be updated, double-jointed, the tattoos, the gear. Great looking gear, great looking figure overall. I am a huge Pete Dunn fan, so seeing this is excellent for me. This is all, you know, this checks all the boxes off for me. I don't have any issues with that weight right there. We also have Elite Series 110 Bruno San Martino, and I don't know why they showed the render image of this. I, you know, we we, we pretty much, this figure is out there. There's uh, the greatest hits legends, Bruno San Martino. There's a warehouse out there that's got these just chucked to the ceiling out there. There's thousands of them out there that have to be. I mean, they were so close to hitting. He's still in the back of the packaging. You know, they did move him out of that set. I don't know what the reasoning was that it was, you know, was for that, but they did say they were going to plug him into a line, and here he is. Elite Series 110 Bruno. 
Uh, solid looking figure. We've already seen this figure pretty much at nauseum. We know exactly what we're going to be getting. And I like this figure. I like the repaint. Gear looks nice. I like the plaque. I love the podium. This podium is used so uh, in a lot of ways. I've seen so many people use this podium in creative ways. So the Bruno San Martino figure is coming in Elite Series 110. Moving on to Elite Series 109, man. We also have a look at Elite 109 standard and chase versions of Shinsuke Nakamura. Now he's going to be coming with his like wispy bodysuit right here. You got the black and white and then you have the black and red so it's got like his NWO versus Wolfpack NWO kind of going on here but this is a very cool head sculpt we have like our first ever bearded Shinsuke which is cool the likeness looks really nice you know the bodysuit figures I don't know I guess it's going to depend on the full formula because it looks like he has regular kick pads so it's going to be interesting to see uh, how these things come out when they come out but apparently the black and red version is the chase and then the black and white is going to be regular so that that is what we have going on right there very solid and apparently he's going to be coming with a cloth entrance robe so we will have to see exactly how that pans out you could use that on a lot of different people as well but I like the Shinsuke figure not going to shatter the earth but it's still a solid addition we also have a look at the Judgment Day now what was nice about the Judgment Day is we got to see Elite Series 109 Damian Priest Elite Series 110 Rhea Ripley and Elite Series 109 Dominic Mysterio and they all have their own things going on here they didn't show off Finn Balor you know because the last time we saw him he was a render I think he is in Elite Series 107 and I think that that waves up for pre-order, and that should be coming relatively soon. Hopefully, we'll see some more images of that. But Damian Priest looks really good. I like the the updates here. Has a very like darkness to him, obviously, because he's in the Judgment Day. But it looks very similar to his last figures, but they look good. His last two elites were fantastic, so I have no ifs, ands, or buts if these are going to be good. I know that this Damian Priest will be very, very solid. Uh, he's got his you know his thigh pads in there, all of his tattoos. Very toyetic group right here, but. Damian Priest looks really good. And then for Dominic Mysterio, man, I love this. We're getting an interchangeable head sculpt that has sunglasses and the bandana over his mouth, which I think is awesome. And his Elite 105 figure was damn good, so I know that this one is going to be damn good as well. You have more of a darker gear with more purple going on. He is going to come with his plaid entrance shirt or his flannel shirt going on, and I do believe it's going to be cloth goods, so that's going to be used for a lot of different characters as well. And, you know, just Bad Boy Dom coming in here with the interchangeable head is so damn cool. I, I love this. I know he has like a plain black shirt I would like to see you know a judgment day graphic put on there but it won't be the biggest deal if it is only plain black you know so we will have to see about that but I do love the Dominic I think the Dominic is freaking fantastic and then last but not least we have Rhea Ripley now I thought for sure we were getting an Ultimate Edition Rhea Ripley, man. I, I just, I felt it in my spirit that we would get an Ultimate Edition. Like, how does Charlotte and Becky, Bianca, and Alexa, and all these people have these Ultimate Editions, and we can't get a Rhea Ripley Ultimate, man? I feel like she, of anybody, could could deserve a Ultimate Edition figure here, but I will say, this is a very fire elite right here, and one thing that I, I noticed that Bill said, which is huge for me, because this is something I have a huge problem with Rhea Ripley's Elite 102 figure, was my biggest gripe, was that her shoulders were so skinny and small. I remember telling you guys that that's why I have that weird Raquel Rodriguez elite fix-up of Rhea Ripley is because they didn't do her right, man. They did not do her figure right. They didn't do her, you know, her muscle tone and her her broadness any justice in her figure. So he did say that they adjusted her shoulders. They made her more broad. It is the white gear, which is the, the gear that I wanted the most out of Rhea Ripley. This is fire. And one thing that does bum me out as well is it's not going to have her sternum tattoo on there, which is so bummy because I feel like that's like the most complete look. But it's still a damn good gear. The purple and the white is so clean. She's got most of her tattoos in there. Great looking head sculpt. Women's championship with Rhea Ripley side plates. But what's crazy is this is why I think an Ultimate Edition Rhea Ripley is coming. It should be very soon, I would imagine that they're going to announce it. Maybe if it's not now, it is going to be coming soon because they didn't give her the new championship. So I guess her ultimate edition that comes out. But see, that's what's weird about it is why wouldn't you make this her WrestleMania 39 gear with this women's championship and then release the ultimate edition in the white gear with the new championship or something like that? I don't know, man. I, I, I love this figure. I think it looks great. I love the new muscle structure and what they're doing with their shoulders and broadening the figure. It's going to be immaculate. This is going to be one of the best women's figures they've ever made. But I do wish it did have the sternum tattoo and I do wish that it had the new championship championship beings that this is going to be coming so far in the future it's not like this is right around the corner so we are going to have to wait on this but still a beautiful looking figure and I look forward to it I love Rhea Ripley so this is great so we did have our judgment day figures now another figure we did get was elite series 109 Bronson Reed now he is also going to come with an entrance vest which is cool but this is pretty much I mean he's going to have his updated tattoos which is nice but it looks like it's kind of going to be a repaint of his previous figure and his previous figure was really underrated really underrated Bronson Reed figure so this Bronson Reed should be damn good I like the green 
green and silver. I don't think it's going to be as toyetic maybe as his Bam Bam Bigelow gear, but it's still damn good. This is a good figure. I think it's going to look solid, and all his tattoo updates and stuff will be really cool, but always getting a, a new, not a new character per se, but a new version of a new character is always nice for me. We also have Elite Series 109 Bailey. Now, I feel like this is a long time coming. You know, it's been a while since we have seen, you know, a Bailey figure. And hopefully, uh, when this comes out, it'll, it'll check all the boxes. I don't like that we're still getting her same boot mold because they always give her those basic boots. So I really don't want to see that, especially in Elite 109. That's so far from now. I really do not want to see those same Bailey boots. They're very stiff. But I guess if that's what we have to get, you know, at least it'll have double jointed arms. It'll have a nice Bailey head sculpt. Probably a damage control shirt or something like that. But a long time coming. It's been a while since we've gotten a Bailey, and it feels kind of like uh, this figure's kind of late, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. But the black and red does look good, and I'm happy to get another Bailey figure since it has been so damn long to go with the rest of our uh, damage control and just women's collections overall. And then we have Seth Rollins from Elite 109. Now, I was shocked. I was shocked to my core again here, and this is what I'm thinking. Maybe in Ultimate Edition Series 21 or 22, we're going to get a Seth Rollins or Rhea Ripley Ultimate. That's what I'm guessing, maybe with both their championships. Now, this is going to come with the updated championship, but I thought when we first saw this figure in Elite 109, I thought it was going to be the Cheetah in blue gear, so I gotta think that that's going to be an Ultimate Edition. It's gotta be, right? They gotta have an Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins in the blue and Cheetah gear, but this figure still looks good. I like the gold. I like the mesh knee pads. Great formula. If it still sticks with the larger formula, the good head sculpt, good championship, I'm all for that. I don't have any ifs, ands, or buts about it. I think it's still going to be really good. I just thought for sure when we saw this render, I was like, oh, it's got to be the blue and cheetah gear. I thought for sure it would just be that gear. I just didn't think that they wouldn't do that gear. And now that uh, we know it's not that gear, then there has to be an Ultimate Edition on the horizon for Seth Rollins. And speaking of which, we still have not seen the damn fan takeover Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. When are we going to see the poll results? When are we going to see that figure? That is a figure that everybody's waiting on to see, and we still haven't seen it. So that is something also that they did not show us. Maybe we'll see it tomorrow, or maybe we'll see that blue and cheetah ultimate Seth tomorrow or something, but that is just some mysteries of the day. Maybe we'll get some more answers to these mysteries tomorrow, but this Seth Rollins is still badass, and I'm, I'm excited to have it and everything like that. It's just something that I was thinking about for sure. And then we also have Elite Series 108 LA Knight coming at us. Now, this is pretty much the Elite version of his basic, but I like the formula going on. I, I If it uses the basic head sculpt, that'll be fine. He's got his entrance vest in there. Standard LA Knight, good figure. A lot of people have been wanting an LA Knight, so I, I this looks good. I mean, it's just your good LA Knight figure a lot of people have been waiting on, so this figure is going to be great. Hopefully, this one comes sooner rather than later. I know a lot of people are claiming for it, even though that damn basic is good. If you find that basic or you can get your hands on that basic, go get that basic until this Elite comes out because it's damn good, but this is a nice LA Knight Elite to come, and I'm sure he'll have plenty of figures to come as well coming down the line. We also got to see some upcoming Elites of the Top Picks wave. Now, we have the new 2024 Wave 2 Top Picks, and we do have Logan Paul. Now, Logan Paul is going to be featured in his wrestling. WrestleMania gear, and this is pretty damn good, man. This is pretty damn good. He's gonna come with a bottle of Prime, which I think is awesome. You know, we, we speculated that we'd probably have, you know, a Prime bottle or something like that down the line, but he is going to be coming with a screaming head sculpt. He's got his blue bandana or headband. Pretty decent gear. You know, I didn't really care for the gear that much. I think that it's decent. It's not the most, you know, toyetic. Or I guess it's not necessarily not toyetic. It's just not my favorite gear design. Very creative Superstar-esque is what I think of when I see his gears. But still, you know, a solid figure overall. I like the formula. I think it works well for Logan Paul. And I'm his, his Ultimate Edition was a great figure. This will be a great figure. Formula will be nice. It'll be good. And then getting the Prime Bottle will be awesome as well. So we'll have to see about that and check all those boxes, but we also got to see the Cody Rhodes from this wave, and the Cody Rhodes from this wave is going to be in his red gear, which I think is awesome as well, so getting another Cody Rhodes in here, they love adding Cody Rhodes, I think that this is a smart choice, I still am waiting on the damn Royal Rumble gear, being front row for that damn match, man, I want that in figure form. Now, this is the first red Cody Rhodes that we have seen, we haven't seen, you know, a red Cody Rhodes from Mattel just yet, but this is still nice, I like this, it's a good addition, you know, solid repaint, always going to pump out Cody, and I'm here for it again. Like I said, I'm going to be lined up to buy them all day. So this is good for me for Cody. And then the last figure for this is going to be Sheamus. Now this looks to be pretty much his Elite 96 figure. Nothing too crazy. You know, it, it's going to be the, the same thing that we saw with Elite Series 96. Solid figure overall. Great head sculpt. It's it's a good one. It's a good Sheamus figure. If you guys missed out on that Sheamus, this is a great way to get that Sheamus figure. So this is great stuff. You know, nothing, nothing to write home about, but still a solid Sheamus re-release right here to snag up if you guys missed out on the first time. And then we're going into the SummerSlam build-a-figure John Cone 
own ways. So the SummerSlam 2024 Elite John Cone Build-A-Figure set. So when you buy the full wave, you know, we've, we've been dabbling in the Build-A-Figures here, and we are going to get a referee figure, modern referee figure here of John Cone. I actually met him back at San Diego Comic-Con. It was really awesome. And this is a great referee figure. I know people have been just wanting a referee figure so damn bad, so I know a lot of people are going to be definitely lining up to buy this wave and get this John Cone. But taking a look at the wave to build the John Cone figure is going to be Lex Luger. We have American Lex Luger here. This looks awesome. It's a great looking figure. I think that his figures actually are really underrated. They feel really solid. We haven't seen a Lex Luger Elite in this style gear since the Legends line. They're just so good. I really can't explain it. They usually give him his his own like unique boot mold. It's like the taller, skinnier boots. You don't see it a lot of times. Like usually, you know, we'll have like the thicker, longer, like Hulk Hogan style boots or the Macho Man or the Ultimate Warrior. But for the Lex Luger figures, they always give him a specific boot that's like skinnier instead of like the thicker. And it's hard to explain, but if you guys have the figure you know what I'm talking about, just take one of your Lex Luger figures and go compare the boots. Doesn't matter what Lex Luger you get, I'm pretty sure they all have the same like skinny boots that are taller. They're awesome. They just make the figure aesthetically look better and they're just, I don't know, he's really poseable. It's a great looking figure. Very toyetic. I like all the golds and the reds and the whites. This is a clean ass figure. I'm, I'm excited for this one right here. Then we have a look at X-Pac. Now this is a look of X-Pac that we have not seen. Now uh, it, if you guys were unaware, there was actually like a little leak like this morning and I was going to do a full news video on it, but I wanted to wait until we got the stuff that we saw today because most of the stuff that was talked about in that uh, in that little like lineups thing, and I'm sure we'll probably see it tomorrow, I guess. I'm not going to talk about it today, but this figure was on that list. Like this full SummerSlam Elite Wave was on that list. And so when I saw the list of the names, I thought that the X-Pac and the Kane figure that we're going to look at, I thought originally that these were going to be from 1999. Like it was going to be SummerSlam 99, X-Pac and Kane, but it is not. That is not what we're getting here. So that totally shocked me. It was from their match with like Undertaker and Big Show, I think, for the tag titles. I thought that's what that was going to be. When I read that list, I thought for sure that's what it was going to be. But this Kane figure is a, I mean, this is a Ruthless Aggression style Kane right here, man. I'm pretty sure this is like, damn, like 2004 versus Matt Hardy, like the Lita feud right here for Kane is what I, I'm pretty sure this is what this is supposed to be. And this is right up my alley for Kane. This is like money zone for Kane. The head looks a bit small in this render, but this is going to be good, especially with the updates, like the double jointed arms and the knees and stuff like that. This is going to be a fantastic figure. I hope the head sculpt looks really good and it's not so derpy, but this is so damn good. I loved Kane around this era. This was excellent for me. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When we go into this Undertaker right here, now this is, I think this is 2000, I can't remember the, the year this was, but this is from the famous gif for the Undertaker, the SummerSlam, where he's laughing at Brock Lesnar, and I thought that this was going to be 2004 SummerSlam Undertaker. Like, when I saw the list, again, I saw the list of SummerSlam elites. I said, dude, I hope that's 04 SummerSlam Undertaker versus JBL, and it wasn't. It is going to be this version. Now, I don't mind this. It is, you know, very, uh, it's it's worth a release. You got the wide eye, and then you do have the, the you know, the, like, laughing head sculpt, and this isn't bad, but I really wanted to see that 2004 era of, of Undertaker. We don't have a lot of Undertakers from the era and elite form and stuff, so maybe we can get an ultimate or something, but the, this should still look good. Like, with these updated, the way they're making Undertakers and Kane nowadays with the bigger arms and, like, how broad they are, they really do capture how, how big they are and stuff like that, and it really makes their figures a lot better, so that is one promising sign, but it's a solid, you know, SummerSlam wave. Not my favorite wave of all time, but it's still cool. It's got some good pieces here and there that, I, that I'm that i going to enjoy, so I, I think it's kind of half and half for me, but I really enjoyed the John Cone build a figure, so that'll be really awesome to pair with this, but that is not all the elites we have, man. We also have a couple more here. Now, outside of the SummerSlam way we also got to see updated images of the three faces of foley three pack this dude loving this set looks so damn good man this shirt is perfection man this is a perfect shirt i love the cactus jack figure now again i still think their arms are too jacked i think that they should have went to back to the drawing board on the arms i wish they wouldn't have used these arms on these guys but maybe there will be a way down the line to adjust this and make this better but i love the dude love shirt the dude love shirt may be the best part of this pack outside of the packaging but this dude love is just miles better than his elite 62 version and then the packaging on this is great you got the three faces of foley he's got the barbed wire on there and each like graphic behind each individual like character is its own background and wallpaper which I think is awesome you got the mankind you have the the dude love and you have the cactus jack and all three of them have like their own individual packaging within this packaging so 
I think that's so good, and it still sticks to the Ringside Collectibles exclusive packaging with like that square rectangle going on there, so that's really nice as well. But yeah, I really wish they would have changed the arms on this, and one thing that I think would be cool is to get, because the Cactus Jack and the Dude Love have the cloth goods, I think it's only right to cut the shirt off this Mankind and then get the Superstars Mankind and put that cloth shirt on there, just to kind of complete the look of all three cloth goods. But yeah, arms are too jacked, but this is still a badass set, badass packaging, great stuff. Uh, this is good stuff. This is really good stuff here. Excited for this three-pack, and I look forward to other three-packs to come, but this was a nice update to see these guys getting released. I think these got pushed back to January, if I'm not mistaken, but these still looked really good. And then rounding out our stuff, man, we do have some basics right here, which we do have Caden Carter here, which is awesome. We got some first time on the line going on here. Basic Series 148. She's got her tattoos on there. Nice hair. Like, I like the ombre and the hair right there. We also got a pair of Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase's. We've never seen this black and gold suit before, so he's looking really tidy there. I, I love it. I'm a bow tie guy, so anytime I see some Ted and some bow tie, I always love to see that. But we also get the green suit, and these look to be new head sculpts, so that is also promising. Put on there your Legends figures and your different Ted DiBiase figures. But this is a figure we've seen before in Elite form and Basic form, but getting the new updated basic form is going to be really nice to see for Ted DiBiase. And then we also got to see Katana Chance here, which is her first time on the line. So that looks really good as well. Kind of plain Jane, you know, not like, you know, anything overly great, but uh, I, I like it. I like it. I think this is nice. I do hate that they always use the same damn body mold, it seems, for these for these female figures, man. So that's something I'd like to see improve. There's just, there's definite improvements. Like, they've made so many great strides, but I think they can still continue to improve the women's figures in a whole lot of different ways. But I, I'm enjoying that figure. We also have Seth Rollins here in his white, black, and gold figure, or, or his gear here. I like this a lot. I really wish this was an elite, but, uh, you know, it's still a good figure. I, I like the head sculpt. It looks like it's going to be the Ultimate Edition head sculpt, or it may be a newer head sculpt. Nah, it's the, I'm pretty sure it's the Ultimate Edition head sculpt in that same head sculpt we saw in his last basic so you know how they love to rehash the Seth Rollins head sculpts and then we also have a couple of Bret Hart's here uh you got the plain plain pink here in the standard and I think the chase one's going to be like that elite 43 redo here with the heart on the on the stomach there and the black and pink attack so it looking pretty decent you know it's all going to depend on the head sculpts I don't know what head sculpts are going to use on this guy so that could make or break the figure for you but Bret Hart HBK, you know, those are some people that they just, sometimes it's hard for them to nail those guys, so that is definitely something there. And now we're finally getting our Giovanni figure, man. I know a lot of people were worried that we weren't going to be getting him, but now we are getting him. So, you know, we can finally complete our look there and get the full faction together and uh, knock all that out together there. So when we get all those guys, that'll be really awesome to pair. I know we need elites of those guys, but it's still nice to have, you know, uh, basic figures. And the basics kind of make up for it, you know, because they are so good now. Like, the basics getting the new articulation and stuff is is really going to upgrade those guys, but that is the basic figures that we got to see. And then rounding it all up, we do have the DX Retro Ringside Exclusive 2-packs here with Triple H, China, Billy Gunn, and Road Dog. We did have the NWO set, now we are having the DX set with uh, everybody here. Now, it's very cool to see like Billy Gunn can get AEW figures and WWE figures made at the same exact time. Really wish Sting could do that, man. Why the hell can Sting not do that? That would be so amazing, right? especially with, like, it's the best time ever to get WCW figures and WWE and, like, the Monday Night Wars, and we don't even have effing Sting represented here, and can you imagine an Ultimate Edition Sting? I know I've been on it, uh, you know, we made the custom, it's been just something that we're hammering home here, but it goes without saying that that figure would be immaculate, but I digress, the DX Retro packs look pretty good, I know a lot of people keep up with the retros, you still keep up with the retros, I know that originally the people were collecting them, and then they went on hiatus, and now they came back so let me know where you guys stand on the retro packs i you know i'd like to know what you guys think of all that down below but i think that was everything that we got out of day number one now we are going to be getting more stuff tomorrow i do not know what the hell it's going to be though you know it's going to be kind of all over the place it did say some i saw somebody say that it's going to be a few more things so uh, maybe some of that stuff that was put on that leaked image that I'm talking about, like the stuff that's coming out, not everything that was talked about in that little lineup was presented to us. There was a few more things on there that was not shown off, so we will have to see and wait till tomorrow to see exactly what that is, so we will have to see again what uh, exactly is going to be coming, what figures they want to show off, and things of that nature. But uh, hopefully it's good stuff. Regardless of what it is, I hope it is good. But I thought today was solid. You know, not like overly crazy good, but I still think it was damn good. Like, I'm excited for a lot of the stuff. New weight belt. Cody Rhodes looks good with the Supreme, you know, style jacket or the Ultimate Edition new jacket. We're going to be getting... 
I like the 2004 Kane. New Seth Rollins Elite. The Rhea Ripley looks immaculate. So we got some good stuff going, man. Hopefully, you know, the rest of tomorrow will be good, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the news for Ringside Fest 2023. I would love to know down in the comment section below where you guys stand on all this stuff. And a huge shout out to our Patreon members of the EMDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellows over there for their continued support. Love you guys so very much for your support as always. And we're actually going to be starting up like uh, a weekly live stream, I think, for Patreon members only over there. So that will be something that we're going to be starting up very soon. So if you guys are interested in stuff like that, check out the link in the description below. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys. Leave me a like if you will. Try to get this thing to a 1,000 likes if we can. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day, and I will catch you guys later for tomorrow for Ringside Fest Day number two.